Okay. The rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, the temple servants, and everyone who separated himself from the peoples of the lands to follow the law of the true God, along with their wives, their sons, and their daughters, all those with knowledge and understanding, joined their brothers, their prominent men, and bound themselves with a curse, and an oath to walk in the law of the true God which had been given through Moses, the servant of the true God, and to observe carefully all the commandments of Jehovah our Lord, his judgments and his regulations. We will not give our daughters to the peoples of the land, and we will not take their daughters for our sons. If, we, if the peoples of the land bring in their wares and every kind of grain to sell on the Sabbath day, we will not buy anything from them on the Sabbath or on a holy day. We will also forego the produce of the seventh. Wait. Oh, why is it good to? Of the seventh year and every outstanding debt. Also, we impose the obligation on ourselves for each of us to give a third of a shekel yearly for the service of a, of a house of our God, for the layer of bread. The regular grain offering, the burnt offering of the Sabbaths and the new moons, and for the appointed feast, for the holy things, for the sin offerings, to make atonement for Israel. And for all the work of the house of our God, also we cast lots of concerning the supply of the wood that the priests, the Levites, and the people should bring to the house of our God by our paternal houses at the appointed times, year by year, to burn on the altar of Jehovah our God. According to what is written in the law, we will bring, we will also bring the first ripe fruits of our land and the first ripe fruits of every sort of fruit tree, year by year, to the house of Jehovah, as well as the fort firstborn of our sons and of the, our livestock, according to what is written in the law and the firstborn of our herds and of our flocks. We will bring them to the house of our God, to the priest who minister at the house of our God. Also, the first fruits of our coarse meal, our contributions, the fruitage of every sort of fruit tree, new wine and oil, we should bring to the priest to the storerooms of the house of our God, along with the tenth from our from our land to the Levites, for the Levites are the ones who collect the tents in the in all our agricultural cities. And the priest, the son of Aaron, must be with the Levites when the Levites collect the tent. And the Levites should offer up a tenth of the tenth to the house of our God, to the rooms of the storehouse where it is to the storerooms that the Israelites and the sons of the Levites should bring to the contribution of the grain, the new wine and the oil, and that is where the utensils of the sanctuary are, as well as, wait, as well as the, as well as the priests who minister, the gatekeepers and the singers. We will not neglect the house of our God.